So this is another one of my videos about Greg Restall's logic, and today I'm not going to be working through an exercise. I say today, I did the other two videos like 10 minutes ago. Um, this, this time I'm not going to be going through any particular exercise, I'm going to be talking about truth tree rules. Um, and uh, you, you probably remember from, from class, I, ho I hope you remember, that there are two kinds of rules. There's, uh, there's linear rules and there's branching rules. And um, the first thing that we that we want to ask is why are are there two kinds of rules? Um, well, in uh, in a truth tree, you're trying to find all of the different possible uh, modes of an argument, just like you are with truth table, truth tables. Um, but you're trying to do that in a way that eliminates uh, a lot of the unnecessary uh, argument. Um, combinations to go through. Uh, and you do that by specifically trying to find a counterexample. So you put the counterexample at the top. You just negate the whole proposition that you're arguing for. Um, you negate the conclusion and you, you list the premises as true. So that that makes the, the, the proposition invalid. And now you're trying to find a case where the proposition is invalid. So you do that by testing all of the all of the propositions that you've just um, listed at the top, uh, and finding out if uh, the the negated argument that you've just created has any valid cases, and if it does, then the argument, the original argument, is is not is not valid. Um, so uh, so the resolving rules for the truth trees are um, divided into linear and branching because. They all exist to uh, find uh, cases where some proposition is true. And um, for all the linear rules, there is only one way in which the, uh, the proposition can be true. Whereas with all the branching one, there's, there's two ways. And I know that sounds a little bit weird because on the truth tra tables, um, it seems like there's there's more than two ways that most of them can can be true. Um, like for example, the conditional uh, that has more than one uh, that has more than one one on 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 the truth table. But let's actually take a look at at the truth table for the conditional. Sorry about my messy lines here. Say we have uh, P, Q, P implies Q. So, if, if we look at this, we'll see, well, in the first row, it's true, in the second row, it's true, third row, it's false, fourth row, it's true. Um, and if you think about it, there is still actually only two ways for this to be true. Either the antecedent is false, in both of these cases it's it's false, or the the consequent is true. Um, so that that actually does leave just two cases. You don't have to go through all the combinations, that's all you have to worry about. Whereas if you're making a truth table, you do have to talk about all those those different um, those different rows. So that's that's what a, a truth table eliminates. It eliminates all the, the redundancies. Um, and that's true for, for all the connectives. There's there's only two ways in which it can be true. So let's look at the the, the truth tree rules for the connectives and see why they make sense. So if you have double negation, this one is probably the easiest and most obvious one, that resolves to just A. Like, if you, if you have not not A, that's A. There's only one way for that to be true. Um, and that's, uh, that, that's pretty clear, I think. If you have conjunction, it's similar. If you have uh, A and B, well, there's only one universe uh, in which A and B are true, and that's the one in which A and B are true. So you have to have them both. They both There's only one branch, and it includes both A and B. Um, for 
renegated destruction. You oh sorry, that's uh, next on the list, but it's a it's a it's a branching rule. Uh, so for 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 negated disjunction, um, you you want to find this one. You're like, okay, so how would I how would I resolve the one universe in which it is not the case that either A or B? And if you remember, the negated disjunction is actually just the same thing as uh, not A and not B. That's uh, that's that's the same because um, well the, the the wedge means uh, either A or B or both. But if they're if it can't be the case that either of them is true, then they obviously can't both be true. So you just have uh, you have not A and not B, which makes sense because we just showed that it was a conjunction, and it's the same thing as the conjunction except negated. Uh, a negated conditional gets. Uh, gets the rule, um, let's see, if it's not the case that A implies B, well, we already know from the truth table that there's only one universe in which that's true, and it's the one where A is true and not B is true, um, negated by conditional, uh, is This is as linear, but it's actually branching. Pardon me. I'll move this over here, and we'll we'll continue. So the rules for a negated conjunction. Well, if uh, if if we have a negated conjunction, that. Uh, that means that um, it is not the case that A and B are both true. So either A is true, or B is true, or neither of them is true. Um, and this is actually the same as the, uh, almost the same as the exclusive or. Uh, the only difference is that in the exclusive or, it cannot be the case that neither of them is true. At least one of them has to be true. So, um, if it's the case that uh, it, you will never see uh, um, A and B false, or A and B true in, in the same universe, then uh, the ways in which this can be true is either if not A is true, or not B is true. You will have to test both of them. Now for a disjunction, we have A wedge B, and that's just A or B. Um, and that's that should be pretty obvious. Uh, either A or B is true, so either A or B is true. For the conditional, we already discussed this one as kind of an example. If we have A horseshoe, then either the antecedent is false, not A, or the consequent is true, B. Um, for the biconditional, if, uh, <coughs> if A tri bar B, then either both or neither. Um, we can. It, this makes sense, right? Because uh, if if it's if and only if, then they have to occur. Um, and for the negated by conditional, which I had initially marked as even. And that 
should make sense because uh, this would mean it is not the case of a and f and only f only of b. That would just mean that they can never occur at the same time. Or, uh, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I hope these truth tree rules make sense. Uh, they they are uh, to remember if you know why they're doing it. So, I, I hope that